Hi, and welcome to Astro Bites for Saturday, the 24th of August, 2024. So today, the moon has moved into the fixed sign of Taurus. So this can tend to make us feel a little bit lazy and a little bit more like, oh, it's Saturday. I don't really want to do much. I just want to lounge around, perhaps mm, buy a nice little kind of Danish pastry or a cake or a mu chocolate muffin or something tasty because Taurus is all about luxury and the enjoyment of nice foods and things like that. But what else is going on today? Because we do actually have um, a new aspect today, which is Mercury, retrograde Mercury in Leo, is making a sextile, which is helpful, to Mars. Mars, of course, which is our planet of um, arguments, of anger, of assertion, of sexuality, and of war. Mars, of course, is in Gemini. Mars has got so much to say. Mercury rules Gemini, but Mercury, of course, is retrograde in Leo. So they're kind of, you know, Mars is actually a planet that is ruled by the fire sign of Aries. And of course, Mercury is in a fire sign. So they're kind of both in the wrong place. And I think they're both trying to have this chat together to say, look, can I, um, it's like Mercury saying, don't get so caught in the overthinking and try and kind of see the bigger picture and take a little bit of a sort of step back. So Mercury is trying to, uh, trying to pull this energy out of Mars to just calm down a bit because there's still this masculine feminine tension. Mars is still squaring Venus in Virgo. Now Venus, remember, is the feminine. Venus rules Taurus where the moon is now and Venus is, mm, she is about relationship, she is about self-worth, but in Virgo, the last thing Venus wants in Virgo is to be criticised. And of course, Virgo is about criticism. And it can be self-criticism, or it can be criticising being criticised by somebody, judged, that's a word we will have to have one day. And so there's still this tension hanging around as we go into the weekend of this masculine feminine energy of, it just isn't quite in balance. There's no balance back yet. It'll be so much easier once Venus moves into Libra, which is soon, because Venus rules Libra. And once Venus is in Libra, then actually the energies will settle down a bit. And then eventually Venus will make a trine to Mars and that will be much more helpful. So what is our word for the day? Well, it kind of fits in with this energy because it's compassion and not just compassion for others or empathy, but self-compassion. You know, how often do you show compassion to yourself? You know, when I chose this word, I had to think about it myself and I thought, whoa, do I show myself compassion? And I really had to think about that a bit because, you know, it made me realise that actually I'm quite a hard taskmaster to myself, especially in difficult times. I will beat myself up and I'm sure there are many of you out there that do the same. Instead of giving myself a little bit of slack, 
and being compassionate and actually kind of almost like stepping outside of myself and thinking, wow, you know, you have had a bit of a rough time. Don't be a pushover. You know, it, it feeds into this thing where sometimes, oh, we can be doormats, pushovers. We just kind of acquiesce to people. We keep, we keep the peace because we don't want to lose someone or we don't want to cause trouble or friction or arguments. And I think it's really important to give some thought to whether we show ourselves the same kind of kindness and understanding that we perhaps show others. Because it, it almost follows on quite well from yesterday's word of boundaries. Because there's something here about learning uh, that to show oneself compassion is also setting healthy boundaries. So they do kind of link in. And setting healthy boundaries means that in general, we can have a much healthier and happier and positive life. And if we have compassion for the self, then it makes it a lot easier to cope with what gets thrown at us because no one is exempt from the stuff that gets thrown at us, nobody. So that we can see and we can think on the outside, oh, well, they're lucky. They have this or they have that or they've got money or, you know, there's a saying, isn't there? We never know what goes on behind closed doors. And behind those closed doors is where sometimes we don't show ourselves the compassion we need to show. So that's today's word. So a brief one today for Saturday. So just to remind you, the moon is in Taurus. So a day for giving a little bit, I think, of, um, you know, luxury to the self, treating oneself to maybe not something fattening, but something healthy and nice. And just being kind to you, I think is a really good way to start the weekend. So on that note, I will say thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another Astro Bite. Bye for now.